Okay, let's jump to our last question here. Susan asks, we had a conversation during one of the previous calls, and what Susan does a lot of is she is known as the PowerPoint queen. So she uses Camtasia, of course, to record tutorials for PowerPoint. I like it. I do that a lot myself. What she wanted to do was kind of emulate a YouTuber who is also a PowerPoint teacher, if you will, and his screen captures include a little utility that records him using hotkeys, right? So if you're demoing software, one of the things you might do a lot is, I don't know, something like this. So I'm going to click on this box here and I'm going to make a copy. Use Control C to copy and Control V to paste, right? Use Control D to duplicate. If you don't like that, hit Delete. Press the Escape key, right? So there's all these things. Press F1 for help. So there's all these things you can do with your keyboard, especially for like keyboard shortcuts that you demo. And then what ends up happening is in Camtasia, what you kind of need to do is use callouts. If you say, press control C. Well, under the keyboard callouts here, you can add a callout to the timeline, right? And you can type in the box here. Let's say I want to do a copy. So now I'm just going to, this is highlighted, I'm just going to go control C, right? And it tells your person what keystrokes you're using. It's a very nice little touch and a little technique especially for doing, again, tutorials that use shortcuts. Did you know that with the Camtasia Recorder, you can record those keystrokes? Okay, so let me just kind of show you that. Under Tools, Options, you can check this box that says Capture Keyboard Input, right? And when you do that and you record with the Camtasia Recorder, here's what it's going to buy you. So let me grab this sample recording. I'll show you how to do that. So here's a screen capture with the recorder when it's set to capture keyboard strokes. What you do is you click on the clip, you go to modify, and you say generate keystroke callouts. When you do that, you're going to get a list of all the keystrokes that the recorder sensed or, or, or knows that you did. And what I'll generally do here is go through this list. F2, for example, is my hotkey to pause the recording. Well, I don't want that. Or F2 here. Pause, pause, and there's probably a stop, which is F10. So I'm going to turn those off. But what you'll see here, and I'm going to show all, because you get a couple of extra ones like escape and delete. Yeah, I'll turn off the ones that are hotkeys that start and stop the Camtasia recorder because they really aren't part of my tutorial. Copy, control, duplicate, all of those are part of the, the screen capture. So I do want those, right? So I'll just kind of pick this list and then I'm going to say generate. And you can choose which type of those callouts you want. You know, there's a few different looks here. Uh, I'm going to go with the gray one and say generate. Okay, and what you'll see is that at the exact moments in the recording where I pressed control X, the callout shows up, right? So that's kind of nice. And one of the ways that I kind of massage this then is by default, all of these callouts are going to be, if we look at the duration, five seconds. Well, that's just too long for the most part, you know, just to show press control X. This is going to stay here for like five seconds. I don't want that. Now you might be thinking that this is just a call out so what I can do is go to edit preferences, go to my timing and change the annotations default you know to like one second or something like that. I like your thinking but sadly that doesn't work any of the hotkeys that you capture with the recorder and then turn on you know by generating them are going to be five seconds period 
So one of the things I do is right after I click modify generate these keystrokes, this is what I get and notice they're all highlighted. So I'm going to right click on one of them and I'm going to change this duration to like, I don't know, 0 0.5, 6, 7 or even a second. Let's just use a second. Say OK. So now you see it's a little more manageable and I can tweak the duration as I go through and edit. The other thing that I kind of do while they're all selected, it puts them all right in the middle of the screen. Now for hotkey callouts that's usually not where I want them. So I'm just going to kind of move them down you know somewhere sort of out of the way and again while they're all selected I'm also going to resize them make them bigger. It's just a little easier to do to get like in the ball game of size and position so I don't end up having to resize and move every single one. <laughs> yeah, I still might have to move them, but at least they're all the same size. Right? So now, again, the screen capture would have grabbed my narration and I'll click off here and all of the keystrokes. Boom. Press Control X. And if I want to, I can make it a little longer. Or if I want to, I can then, you know, position it where it it's a little more visible per instance. Cool. So not many people know you can do that. The other kind of cool thing about the ones that are generated is that notice it has kind of a gray background to it. It's a little more legible. Let's just add one manually here. Let's go to annotations, keyboard, and we'll add the same kind. Make it bigger. That's control A. In fact, I'll stack them up on top of each other. Okay, so the ones that the Camtasia recorder generates have this nice little background. The regular ones don't. So I can't think of a real good reason not to have it capture keystrokes. If you don't want them to be in your project, you just don't generate them, right? But if you want them, then bam, there you go, and a couple of tips on kind of how to use them, right? So there we go. All right, well, hopefully uh, that was kind of useful. All right, everybody, I'll let you go, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming.